Okay, we've looked now in the previous course, we've looked at furniture here in our living dining room. Let's now look at some of the electronic appliances that we have, which many modern homes uh, also have. A uh, first thing you've probably noticed already is the television and our player for videotapes and so on. We need lighting here. And in this room, it's, you see it's not all that big. We have three kinds of lighting. One is a rather standard table lamp with rather nice oriental decoration. I can say it's nice because I didn't choose it. My wife chose it. Then we have an upright lamp here. The advantage of this lamp is that it doesn't blind you. And if, for instance, we're watching the television and we don't want bright light in our eyes, we can put that on and it reflects and diffuses off the ceiling. Then here we've got three overhanging little lamps which go together with uh, this uh, place where we keep a lot of our books. So there we've got the lighting in the room. It's pretty indirect lighting, nothing too bright. Next, we'll take a look at the, the uh, electronic devices here, uh, in addition to the television and the lighting. You see I've got my computer on the table. Underneath it is printing machine and I try to economize on paper so I don't print very much. And then behind it is a transformer. There is the box which French people now call in box <laughs> through which comes our internet, our television and our telephone. We try not to use too much electricity, uh, but in winter in particular, when you need more lighting and heating, there's a radiator over here, but we don't need to look at that. Uh, but that does mean that we've got quite a few wires running around all over the place. <laughs> we have a cat who's not here today. She went on holiday. And uh, she at first was very confused by all the wires, but now she's gotten used to them and she avoids them. In our next course, we're going to take a look in the kitchen, la cuisine.